My name is Heather Schwartz, and I researched ancient Greece for my purpose project of 2021. First is time periods of ancient Greece. I will be going over these five time periods. First is the Early Bronze Age, and it is circa 3000 to 1400 BC. The major events happened in 3000 to 2100 BC, 2100 to 100, 1500 BC, and circa 1400 BC. This next time period ranged from 1400 to 750 BC and major events occurred during 1400 BC, circa 1150 BC, and 776 BC. This time period was from 750 to 500 BC. Major events happened in 750 BC, 550 BC, and 500 BC. The classical period went from 500 to 338 BC. Major events happened in 490 BC, 481 to 479 BC, 431 to 404 BC, and 338 BC. And the Roman period, which was from 338 BC to 395 AD. Major events occurred during 336 BC, 323 BC, 320 to 275 BC, and 146 BC. Next is important events in Greek history. They are put into chronological order. This is the beginning of the Mycenaean period, and it is also the beginning of advanced culture in Greece. The Trojan War, and although the existence of this famous battle has always been debatable, it features some of Greece's most famous heroes, including Achilles and Odysseus, which were written about by Homer. Next is the introduction of the Olympic Games, and they were taken in honor of Zeus. This is the rise of the Greek tyrants, and during this time, many people in Greece came and fell from power. In 600 BC, the coin currency was introduced. In Athens, the coins had owls on them, which were in honor of Athena, whose symbol was an owl. Throughout 445 BC to 429 BC, the age of Pericles brought many things to Greece. The Second Peloponnesian War was between Athens and Sparta, and these are the major cities of Greece.
The bubonic plague of Athens was in 430 BC, and it was an epidemic that went through the whole city. And the plague really challenged the population's religious faith because they prayed for days, but no God came to their rescue. They also saw it as an act of God in support of Sparta. In 336 BC, Alexander the Great came to power, and during his rule, he was able to fulfill his father's project and dream, which was Greek's conquest of Persia. Next is the invasion of the Romans in 146, and this really marked the end of the Greek Empire and the Romans started to rebuild and take Greece as their own. This is a map of ancient Greece and as you can see Sparta and Athens are two of the biggest cities. And lastly are the 12 main Greek gods and goddesses. There are much more than 12, but these are the most well known. So I'm going to share more information about them. This is Zeus. He is the god of lightning and thunder and the ruler of Olympus. This is Poseidon and he is god of the seas. Hermes, the messenger god. Hera, the goddess of marriage. Hades, god of the dead. Dynastus, he is the god of wine. Demeter, the goddess of the harvest. Apollo, the god of light and healing. Ares, the god of war. Artemis, goddess of the hunt. Athena, the goddess of wisdom. And she is also the goddess of war, but she is more the goddess of strategic war rather than Ares, who was the god of savage and bloodlust. And Aphrodite, who is the goddess of love and beauty. This concludes my presentation on ancient Greece. Thank you for watching.